Hill, discuss take action to the section 775.422 of the Texas Health Seat <coughs> and remove the President of the Emergency Services Report. Well, I'd like to make a motion that the Mr. Sport say here to consider the removal of Mr. Harris from the Emergency Services District Board for incompetency and the date of that hearing to be October 20th at 10 a.m. Also, that Mr. Harris be notified of that hearing and that he be provided an opportunity to show cause why he should not be removed. And that's the reason why I said that. We have a real mess on our hands, 
and it seems to get messier every day. Something has to change. One thing I have learned over my lifetime, however, change can make a situation better or change can make the situation worse. The problem is we can't know what change will mean until it has happened and only time can tell then. My concern for this court is the message we send to those we have appointed and we will appoint in the future. My fear is we fix nothing. My preference would be for this court as a whole, the ESD board as a whole, and the fire chiefs to sit down in a round table conference and pinpoint the problems and find solutions that best serve all the citizens of this wonderful county where we are blessed to live. <coughs> but I will faithfully execute my duties. Thank you. I'd like to make a comment that I, I too am concerned about the community and the citizens and taxpayers. <coughs> I've gone to the meetings, I've had numerous conversations with numerous taxpayers, citizens, volunteers, first responders, firemen. I've attended the meetings and I've seen the ESC meetings and how they are conducted. And I do hear 